Okay, so let's now proceed to the drug syndicates in the Philippines. Okay, meron din tayo, no? We have here, dito talaga nagsisimula sa Binondo. No, we have here Binondo-based Chinese syndicate, no? Uh, it has been identified as the nucleus of the triad society. When we say nucleus, meaning to say center ng triad society. The bamboo gang na nakabase sa Taiwan at sya, yung 14K na nakabase sa Hong Kong. Okay? Yan yung ginagawa nilang nucleus, no? Sa Binondo. Diyan yung tinatawag na nucleus of the triad society. Okay? Dumating dyan si 14K, dumating dyan si bamboo gang. Okay, the bamboo gang... Uh, that is influence of the green gang of the Chinese triad. While the 14K, kung na, na drug syndicate, it was the newest among the triad's families before, no, in, uh, na na-establish noong 1947. Okay, the most common modus operandi by the syndicate before. Again, when we say modus operandi, that's referring to method of operation. Their way of their operation. Okay, so before, their modus before, they pose as a fisherman. Okay, they pose as a fisherman along our seas, along the Philippine seas, particularly the, the northern provinces of Luzon, such as the La Union, Ilocos, Pangasinan, where they drop their loads of shabu to the shoreline-based members. Okay, the syndicates are famously involved in uh, marijuana cultivation and other drug smuggling, including including na yung drug manufacturer. Okay, so let's talk about the dangerous drugs. So uh, I believe I am done discussing this to you, but uh, to reiterate lang, no? Iba kayong iba. Uh, hindi masyadong nakuha. Alright, so when we have here uh, classification of the dangerous drugs according to the effects. So we have here depressants, stimulants, and hallucinogen. So once again, depressant, those that depress our central nervous system. Okay, depressants, tinatawag itong downers. Okay, stimulants, tinatawag itong uppers. Kasi nakaka-stimulate siya sa ating central nervous system. Nakaka-alive. It causes mental awakeness or mental alertness or wakefulness. While yung depressant nakaka-relax, ito namang stimulants, nakaka-alive. Alright, now ito namang hallucinogens, once again, class, it distort perception, okay, it mind-altering mood. So when we say uh, distort perception, uh, parang uh, somehow uh, it causes a person that, uh, na, na mali yung, ano, what's this? na mali, mali yung perception niya over things, no? Which is he or she thinks that something exists Pero wala di ay, no? Kina siya yung mga nga na-feel nga ab mga abnormalities. Alright? So, uh, let's say uh, if if the specific person take that, for example, ng Mexican mushroom na hallucinogen, uh, pagka na iyang gamiton, nakain sa hallucinogen, uh, instead nga ang the, the tall bell building, ang iyahang makitaan is gasayasayaw. Ang iyang nakita, gasayasayaw ang mga tallest buildings, ang mga tall buildings, no? Pero, in fact, wala day good gasayasayaw, no? Okay, sa iya lang ng pananaw, there is distortion sa iyahang panglangtaw, mausab, no? Or let's say, sa kahoy, pananaw niya na wakwak gabatog, nice, mga, unsa pa man ang mga elemento ang uh, present there, pero wala gidi ay. That's the effect, no? It has something to do with distortion of our perception. Na alter yung normal na function ng ating brain, no? Okay. That is caused by those hallucinogenic drugs. Alright. So next we have here, according to medical pharmacology. So we have six. We have depressants, narcotics, tranquilizer, stimulants, hallucinogens, solvents, or inhalants. Okay, so before we're going to dig in with ano ba yung mga example ng depressants, ano-ano ba yung mga narcotics, ano-ano ba yung mga tranquilizer. Okay, ito muna, the very note sa inyo. Okay, pag sinabi nating narcotics, painkiller. 
Pag sinabing depressant, downers. Pag sinabing stimulant, uppers. Yung mga clue-clue ninyo, no? Para madaling nyo maintindihan. Alright? When you say hallucinogen, psychedelic, mind-altering. Alright? When you say designer drugs, so these are known as club drug. Okay, now let's talk about the depressants now. Actually, class, nakaglance na ta, ano, no? nagglance na tayo dito sa mga topics na to. But I wanted to record this one for those students naman din na, uh, I believe, it's not that kanang clear pa sa ilaha. Okay, so depressants or the, or the downers. So again, when we say depressant, these are group of drugs which suppress vital body function. Okay, when we say suppress class, it means control. Okay, kinokontrol niya yung ating body. Okay, yung function ng ating body. Especially, ano-ano ba yung... Ano-ano ba yung uh, kinokontrol niya inside our body? Especially those of our brain, particularly our central nervous system. Ano ba ang result? na impair yung judgment natin, yung hearing natin, which is within to hear something. Pero, kanang guni-guni na lang na to ba, no? Okay. Which others does not. Within to hear something which others does, does not, no? Okay, and then the speech, somehow it is being affected. And the muscular condition, somehow it is very different from that of the normal person. We're in ang uban, magkurog-kurog. Unsa pa man mga common mannerism for those uh, drug abusers. Alright? And then, they, it dulls our minds, no? Though the minds, I am referring the minds of those users. Okay, this is these are the effect of the depressants, no? It dials the minds, nakakabobo, no? Nakaka-slow down ng ating body reaction. To such extent na it causes into okay, mga accidental deaths or even suicides, no? Uh, it usually happen. All right, so depressant, nandito si narcotic din, nandito si barbiturate, tranquilizer, alcohol and volatile solvents. Again, these drugs, itong sa depressants, when taken in, generally decrease both the mental and the physical activities of the body. They cause depression, they relieve pain, they induce sedation or sleep, and they suppress cough. Okay, now let's talk about ano ba yung nabi belong sa depressants. Okay, we have here number one, narcotics. Okay, when we say narcotics, narcotics depressants, no? These are drugs which relieve pain. Okay, analgesic. So, kasi nakaka-relieve ng pain, so analgesics. And it produces profound sleep or stupor. Again, do not forget when it's a depressant, nakakakalma. Nakakapagpakalma. No, we say our muscles is calm, relaxed, so makakaproduce siya ng profound sleep. Okay, medically... Narcotics, they are potent painkillers. No, they are potent cup, the presence, and, and as an active component of antidiarrheal preparation. Okay, so again, see narcotics class. Uh, when we're going to define this one medically, these are referring to any drug that produces sleep or to stupor and relieves pain. Okay, due to its depressant's effect to our central nervous system. Okay, so it, these are, okay, it in, included in its medical definition are, pag sa medical, included yan yung, uh, from what you read there in the screen, uh, opium, kasama na dyan yung opium, yung morphine, yung heroin, codeine, mga synthetic na mga opiates, kagaya ng methadone. Alright, later on I will show you an example, or what is it like sa methadone? Okay, when we define narcotic drugs legally, okay, the term narcotics means any drugs defined as such by the Philippines and International Law on Narcotics. Okay, the United Nations Treaty on Narcotics. Okay, so, pag dyan naman dinefine, naka-embrace dyan yung cannabis sativa. Coca leaf, cocaine, cannabis sativa, or the marijuana. Okay, the coca leaf, cocaine, sedatives, stimulants, and other mind-altering drugs. 
Okay, so in fact, we have classification of narcotic drugs. Okay, classification of narcotic drugs. So we have here synthetic opiates. From what have you seen, they have similar physiological effects ha, as opium narcotics. Again, I do not forget pag sin sinabing synthetic ha, class, kay ginawa sa laboratorio. Okay, man-made ha, pag sinabing synthesized drugs. Okay, it's different with the natural. Okay, next, methadone. Pharmacologically, no, it is related to heroin, no? Minimal lang yung side effects niya. So, it is being used in the treatment. It, and some, it eliminates heroin desire. Okay, did, did you still remember, class, the discussion we had last week? Uh, we talk about the evolution, the, introdu the introduction of those drugs in the market, in the people. Diba? Nauna yung marijuana. So, na, nakaka-addict na yung marijuana. Okay, sumunod naman si opium. Hanggang sumunod si morphine, si heroin, no? So, ang nangyari, class, no? Nagiging, ano lang siya, no? Uh, another addiction na naman. Okay, so... Again, si methadone class, uh, it is used in treatment, no? eliminating heroin desire or sa mga heroin addicts. Okay, next we have propoxifene. Okay, so it is for relief of moderate pain but recorded an increase of its abusive and Okay, nare-record din yung increase ng kanyang abuse, abuse tsaka overdose. But anyway... Pag propoxifene, nakaka-relief siya ng moderate pain. Alright, next, we, number two, we have opium. Okay, so opium, that is derived from a poppy plant. That is a poppy plant there, or the papaverse somniferum. Okay, it is a popularly known as gum, gamut, kalamay, or panotsa. So, si opium class, ini-extract siya sa opium poppy plant, yung papa verso neferon. And mostly, it is widely grown in China and in India. Okay, so si opium class, uh, it is a drug distilled from the juice of the opium poppy flower. So, pag nakita nyo yung juice niya, dyan galing, no? It is obtained from the immature flower of the opium poppy by slightly incising the flower seed pad. So, kinakat mo lang siya. Hindi naman yung sobra, no? Para enough nang na para lalabas yung mga juice niya. And, anong ginagawa nila? They are collecting the milky juice, no? In a larynx, like brown gums. Yung nakikita nyo yung brown gums niyan. And when it exposed to air, no, it becomes brittle. Yung nakikita nyo na nagbe-brittle na siya pag na-expose sa air. Yung juice niya, pag na-expose sa air, it becomes brittle. Alright? Okay. So, si Papa, Ver Papa Versum Neferum class, that is, is smaller scientific name sa opium poppy, poppy plant, ha? Poppy P. Okay. So, the Papa Ver, that is a Greek word for poppy. The somniferum, that is a Latin word, which means to dream or induce sleep. Alright, so, yung raw opium class, yeah, it contains approximately 10% morphine, 1.5% codeine, 150 bane, 1% papaverino, plus more than 35 additional alkaloid in a smaller amount. Yung poppy, poppy plant class, ha? It grows tall, no? About, gaano kalaki ba yung uh, poppy plant? Okay, how tall? About 3 to 4 feet, no? And na, na, madali lang siyang i-recognize kasi meron siyang whitish, dull green leaves. Tsaka malaki yung flowers niya. In fact, yung flowers niya, it's about 4 to 5 inches across. Which come in white... Meron ding pink, meron ding red, meron purple, merong lavender. Okay, yung base ng petal ng poppy plant, no? Okay, again, the active alkaloid opium, that is the morphine alkaloid form which codeine was isolated. Alright. Okay, the, the, the picture shows how the opium is being collected. Okay, aside from that class, 
Oh, meron ding mga, what's this? Okay, meron ding other uses of opium. Okay, other uses of opium, hindi lang sa uh, nagagamit siya from what we tackled na a while ago. Those are mga effect-effect, blah, blah. Aside from that, pwede din tong yung flower ng opium, pwede din siya sa mga flower arrangement. Yung seed naman, yung seed naman ng opium class Uh, pwede naman siyang gamitin sa pang-toppings ng bread, no? Aside from that. Okay, and then yung oil naman ng, ng uh, what's this? Yung ano naman, yung opium, it is essential oil for perfume. At ginaga, ginagamit din siya sa mga industrial application. Okay, at saka nagagamit din siya sa mga buyer research. Right? Okay, so next we have here, uh, next is... Heroin. Okay, I'm sorry. It, it, next is morphine. Okay, so next is morphine. So that is an extract. Na extract naman siya sa opium, no? It's abusive use. It's by intravenous injection. Okay, ito yung pinaka common na ginagamit and best use opiate then, no? So, yung morphine naman, effective siya, effective siya as a painkiller. Kasi six times siya mas potent kaysa sa opium. Okay, high dependence. Okay, so, it, uh, the morphine, it exert action characterized by analgesia, drowsiness, nagmumood changes, and even mental clouding. Okay, si morphine naman class. Okay, si morphine is... Wait lang ha. Alright, so it is a drug isolated and developed out of opium. Again, we're done discussing with this, no? Sino nga yung nakadevelop ng morphine? He was a German pharmacist, si Sir Turner, no? In 1805. Diba? He named it morphine after yung Morpheus, no? The Greek god of dreams, no? So, si morphine, it is a standard measure for the relief of severe pains and it was introduced as cure of all kinds of sickness and illness no which mark the beginning of narcotics use and abuse okay so see morphine class it is available in the form of a cough syrup pwede din meron ding tablet nito or forms ng tablet no okay so ganyan yung composition ng morphine Uh, with 18 grams of codeine, 14 grams. Okay, number two. Okay. Next, we have here heroin or the diacetyl morphine. Again, heroin or the diacetyl morphine. So, ito naman siya, three to five times more powerful than morphine, no? Which is. Uh, very addicting, no? The most addicting opium derivative. Diba? Maraming drugs ang dinederive sa opium. Ito si heroin, diba, class? Later on, nagiging ano na to siya? The most, ano, the king of, ano ba yun? Na, did you still remember that one? Ano, ano yun? The most dangerous ba yun? Ano yun? Nakalimutan ko yung term nun. We're, basta we discussed this one last meeting, no? Okay, so isa na yung pinaka-addict sa pinaka-addicting sa lahat ng na-derive sa opium na drugs, no? Okay, so with continuous use, with continued use, no, addiction occurs within 14 days. Lagi kang gumagamit, na-addict ka within 14 days, no? It may be si heroin class, pwede siyang sniff. Okay, pwedeng sniff on swallowed, but usually ini-inject siya sa veins. Right, so again, si heroin class, this is an alkaloid that is derived from morphine. It is a white or brownish crystalline powder. Okay, but has similar effects with morphine. So, yung iba, tawag nila nito, snow, staff, letter H, junk, marami pang iba, no? Yan lang yung, um, Parang famous, no? Okay, si heroin class, uh, meron din, pwede din siyang gamit, go, tawaging junk. 
Ito yung mga ginaga, ginagamit ng iba na mga terms. Smack, horse, brown sugar, babania, golden brown, black tar, montega, big etch, lady etch, dope, skag, juice, jude, diesel, boy, blows, marami pa. Depende kung anong ano ang sikat, kung ano ang katawagan sa mga may mga area-area, no? Okay, again, aside from that class, si heroin, no? It, is, it can use as a painkiller sa mga, lalo, lalo na yung mga cancer patient, cancer patients, no? Pwede siyang, mabi siya, sa, siya no? Pwede gamitin na painkiller. Okay, so again, si heroin, and another derivation sa opium, poppies, no? So, which are mostly grown in the Middle East, no? sa Pakistan, yung Afghanistan, meron din sa Asia, yung tinatawag natin Golden Triangle, no? Ano ba yung Golden Triangle? Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, no? Okay. And, meron din sa mga province sa China, meron din mga na-cultivate pa na mga opium poppy sa Mexico, sa Colombia. So, majority talaga, majority of the heroin is uh, that is consumed in the United States no yung galing sa Mexico at saka sa Colombia okay so si heroin class again uh, it was first synthesized in 1874 sino nga nung nakadiscover nito si Wright si R. E. Wright no do not forget isang british chemist working at St Mary's Hospital Medical School London okay by okay by mixing and hydrous morphine alkaloid with acidic and hydride over a stove for several hours. Okay, we have here Heinrich Dresser of Bayer in Elberfeld, Germany. Okay, siya, siya si, si Heinrich Dresser class, siya yung nag-registered ng heroin. Okay, siya yung nag-registered ng heroin na ang nangyari, naging trademark na na tinatawag na siyang heroin naging trademark na pag ganyan, ng, ganyan yung droga na, na ini-introduce sa market siya yung nag-register ng heroin no? meaning heroic treatment from the German no? that is comes from the world heroism no? or heroish okay so uh, from 1898 hanggang sa 1910 it was marketed as non-addictive morphine ngayon uh, kay Ramiha Uh, katunayan nga, ito si cough medicine sa mga children din. Okay, later on, naging abuse drugs na din siya, kaya pinagbabawal na. Okay, again, si heroin or the diacetyl morphine. That is a chemical compound which was developed by the chemist, no? Okay, the British chemist. Okay, si heroin, no? a highly narcotic and swiftly addicting drug. Okay, sa, nga, sa pangalan pa lang, no, dinirive na napaka-daring na, parang may impressive power, no? Okay, next, uh, let's continue this one na lang, uh, para hindi masyadong mataas.